Hi, I'm Andrew with Full Metal Fabworks. I'm gonna run through how to install one of our Adventure Air onboard air compressor kits. Uh, I've been making these for about six years now for seven or eight different side-by-side -side models. This particular unit is for the 2020 Polaris Pro XB4, just like the one here behind me. Um, comes just like you see here, other than this one is a prototype, so it's not powder coated. All the ones we ship do come powder coated. Uh, comes with pre-wired built-in fuse and a rocker switch so you don't have to install any auxiliary switches anywhere. Easy bolt-in. Comes with a 14-foot hose so you can reach all four tires or assist other riders. Comes with a stainless steel hose hold down, all the hardware you need. Um, easy, straightforward, quick install using a few basic hand tools, which I'm gonna run through now. So let's get started. All right, the first thing you wanna do is pull out your rear seat on the driver's side, since that's where the air compressor is gonna mount. Uh, while you're in there, you're gonna go ahead and pull out your front seat as well so you can access the battery for wiring. I'll go ahead and get that done and then bring you in a little closer to show you some more details. With your seats and your belts out of the way, we're gonna go ahead and move on to mocking up the compressor. Uh, first thing you wanna do is take your seat belt bolt, insert it from the back here. Go ahead and put your seat belt tab on there. And then lastly, don't forget your spacer that holds your defender here. Um, the compressor is going to sit right in this area and it's going to sit up about an inch and a half or so. So you want to insert a block or something just to help you mock it up. An old piece of 2x4 or something works. Then you're going to set the compressor in where it goes. And then with the compressor in there, you want to tighten up this bolt on the tab of the compressor so everything's sitting where you want it. Once you get that bolt tightened up there, go ahead and take a paint pen, sharpie, something like that. Mark your holes here, here, and here on the back with it sitting where it actually goes. And then go ahead and remove this bolt and pull the compressor back out. And then we're gonna drill those three locations with a quarter inch or 5 16 if you want a little bit more room uh, for bolt to go through there and then we'll get the compressor installed. After you've got your quarter or 5 16 holes drilled you're going to want to go ahead and install your compressor uh, starting with your seat belt bolt here loosely install that one um, then you want to put in your quarter 20 bolts um, I got a little bit longer one here just to show you um, how those go Basically, the bolt's going to go through from the inside to the outside through the three holes that you drilled. We've gone ahead and installed those two bolts. So this bolt, after you've put some NICs, Loctite something on there, it's going to go through the hole. And then on the back side, you're going to use your uh, washer and your nut on the back side to tighten those up. Again, you're going to need a uh, 532nd Allen and a 716 uh, either socket or open-ended wrench to get those installed. Once you have those going, uh, only thing left to do is run your wiring and put your hose in place. I'll go ahead and show you uh, how the hose goes while we got you in here. So basically you're just gonna wanna remove this zip tie eventually and then uh, wind up your hose. It sits right on this uh, bracket and there's two hooks there. And then you wanna go ahead and put your Velcro around it and that will hold your ho hose in place where it needs to be. Um, next, we'll show you kind of some options on running the wiring, and that'll wrap up the install. With your compressor all bolted in and your hose tucked up out of the way, uh, last step you want to do is go ahead and hook up the wiring. Basically, you just want to get to your battery compartment um, here under the driver's seat. 
This is a customer car, so we're dealing with some custom wiring. So we're not gonna show it here. We'll probably tie it in a little differently than most. But basically what you're looking for is gonna be, you're just gonna get your red to positive and your black to negative. You got a couple different options here. Um, you can run it over the bracket where there's a nice little cutout here, drop it down behind this piece of plastic, and then that'll carry you behind the seat over here through your tunnel and eventually put you out right here by up underneath your cup holders. So it'll tie you into your battery compartment. Another option would be something we like to do is also go under the plastic there and then come along your rocker here and that'll eventually put you out right in this area which will also tie to your battery compartment. To do those steps, you're going to need your T40 Torx again and you if you go through the tunnel, you'll have some plastic push pins to remove down lower there and so you'll need a plastic push pin removal tool or a flathead screwdriver whatever you want to use there if you have any questions about your install just give us a call 909-505-7115 thanks and have a great day a couple important features of the kit where it's designed to locate and mount it takes up a space that otherwise would be totally unused not only that but you don't have to disassemble your interior or remove your seats to use it. Simply come over, reach down in behind the seat, undo the Velcro strap. That'll give you access to your hose. Then you come over and open your door, flip the built-in rocker switch, hook it up to whatever tire needs air, either on your rig or a friend's rig, and then check the built-in gauge. Whenever you get to the proper pressure, put your hose back on its uh, built-in hose mount and you'll be back on the trail. That should be about it. We hope you enjoy your kit. If you have any questions, give us a call 909-505-7115. Thanks and have a good day.